Good day and welcome to Motor Rose Music. I am Jeff Thiel, the host of the show, and I've got an update on the IVB 500. Yeah, that's the violin bass by uh, IYV. And as I said, I was going to go ahead and get flat wounds for this, and I would do an update on this bass, and I did. And I will tell you, if you are thinking about getting this or you have it, and are going to get replacement strings for this. This is a short scale bass, however, you need medium scale strings. Uh, I think uh, <clears throat> long scale will work, but I don't know. I put mediums on here and it worked just fine, but short scale is too short because of the way uh, you've got this uh, <clears throat> tail piece here. Uh, they get hooked in back here and that's not how you measure the scale length. So, with that being said, I'm going to do something a little different here today uh, as far as uh, playing. Uh, first off, I'm going to start with a pick and then I'll go to fingers playing. But I'm going to play with this. I've got a Playwell. Uh, it's a drum machine slash looper pedal. And uh, just to make it a little more interesting, I'll have uh, just a drum machine playing along with me. So let's go ahead and do that. And at first, like I said, I am going to play with the pick here. Woo! Real drums here. There you go. And that was with the pick. I think it sounds pretty good. Certainly reminiscent of Paul McCartney's uh, sound. Uh, I think this does a pretty good job of that. Uh, and I am playing both pickups, the bridge and the neck. But I, am, uh, I have the neck pickup turned down to 7 and then the bridge all the way up to 10. So... Uh, let's go with the finger style. I am going to turn the tempo up. Sorry about that. And here we go with some finger style playing. style and uh, to me it sounds pretty good I really have enjoyed this bass especially for under $200 uh, you really can't beat it uh, did have to invest in some flat wounds but no big deal there I haven't been having any quality issues with it uh, you know it seems to be doing just great uh, can you find better basses you know yeah you can but not for this money 
And certainly, you know, I would love to get a Hofner and play these side by side. I, I might put some money on this bass, at least not being better. I'm not, I'm not going to go that far, but probably be pretty damn close. So anyways, yeah, still recommending this bass, you know, still really enjoying it. And uh, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. And remember, keep rock alive.